Now, World War I brought about significant social change, not least the introduction of jazz to Europe. Thanks to a black American regiment of musicians called the Harlem Hellfighters, the French discovered the joys of syncopation. More than a century on, American musician Jason Moran is raising fresh awareness of the Hellfighters and their leader, James Reese Europe. Jane O'Brien has the story. When America entered World War I, the 369th Black Infantry Regiment was sent to France. Better known as the Harlem Hellfighters, they were also musicians. And when they set foot on the continent, jazz came with them. When the French audience hears them for the first time, they're like, what is this music? How does this sound like this, you know? Can I see your instrument? You must be doing something tricky with it to make it sound this way. One hundred years later, the sound of the Hellfighters has been reproduced by young musicians from historically black colleges. This performance at the Kennedy Center is part of efforts to rekindle awareness of their legacy, and in particular, their leader, James Reese Europe. Europe was already a famous musician in New York. His complex melodies and driving rhythms had helped establish black music as it was known then. Jason Moran has created a tribute to Europe with a new work based on some of his compositions. How do you freshen that up then and make you know, it sound contemporary? The, the way that, um, that I like to think about this one, we also play it fast for a while. And in, in my band, we play it kind of messy. <laughs> so that's the one way, right, is to show the mess in all this. Over the one hour that we present this, this work, we present a history to James Reese Europe. This is how we feel about you. This is how we want to honor your work. This is how it feels to us today. Europe survived the war and returned to America to rave reviews. But a few months later, he was stabbed in the neck by his drummer and died aged 39. Forgotten for so long, he is now remembered as one of the great masters of jazz. Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Washington. <laughs> Some great tunes there.